Greetings everyone, Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility. Today we got a brand new release from AFM Records. All right, our friends over at AFM who did such a great job of putting out so many fantastic power metal and the melodic death metal albums. It just seems like you blink every week goes by, there's more new stuff coming from the AFM camp. Today we've got a brand new release from Finland's melodic death metal veterans, Moore's Principium Est. Talking about seven. All right. Seven also has to do with their seventh album. Okay. They, these guys have been around for about 20 years now. Uh, and this is their seventh album. So they started it off uh, in 2003 with Inhumanity. Uh, then two years later, The Unborn. Liberation equals Termination in 2007. Uh, as Death Said Live 2012. Or as Death Said Death as Death Said Live, I'm not sure, Live or Live, uh, Dawn of the Fifth Era 2014, Embers of a Dying World in 2017, that was a really good one, and now here we are in 2020 with Seven. So the band is uh, actually down to a two-piece now for the most part, at least for the most part on the album. Uh, you've got uh, Ville, uh, Viljanin, I believe he says his name, okay, I'm probably butchering the uh, pronunciation there, uh, he's been their singer since the very beginning. Okay, on his uh, death growls and screams and what have you. You've got uh, Andy Gillian on lead guitars and orchestrations and programming and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, he's kind of like the, the main songwriter in the band. Okay, and he's been in the band for a while. He's not an original member, though, but he's been in the band for a while. And then we've got uh, on session drums here, you've got a guy named Marco Tamila. He plays all the drums on here, but he's not a regular member of the band. They have actually a whole cast of musicians who um, appear live when the band plays live. But in the studio, you just basically got those two guys. So here, let's take a look at the album here. So um, as normally we normally see with AFM releases, Digipack, okay, pretty cool artwork on the inside and the outside. There's the disc there. Let's take a look at the booklet. All right, all sorts of dark stuff, right? You got full lyrics and some, you know, kind of bleak artwork. There's got some pictures of the guys in the band, obviously. That's the guitar player. Let me get you the singer here. There he is. And then on the back, all the credits and stuff. So, pretty cool album. So, if you like uh, Finnish melodic death metal, you know, maybe Insomnium, okay, that sort of thing. Or if you like Swedish or Scandinavian melodic death metal, think Dark, Tranquility, Early Soil Work, Early At The Gates, that sort of thing. Early, Early In Flames, okay. Um, Morris Principium Est is is uh, kind of falls in line there. We've got uh, how many tracks on here? You've got ten new tracks on the album. Big production values, lots of guitar riffs. Okay, a lot of technical riffing, a lot of blazing solos. You got plenty of keyboard orchestrations, which kind of you know really give the album this big kind of like cinematic feel. But it's damn heavy. You got the growling and screaming vocals. They're not overbearing though. You can pretty much understand what he's saying, which is pretty cool. Uh, a lot of really good songs on here. Uh, a Day for Redemption kind of kicks it all off. It's you know these big you know rapid fire drums and the powerful riffing. The keyboards in the background the growling vocals it just sounds really epic uh you've got lost in a starless aeon you got in frozen fields really cool track march to war is just a steamrolling melodic death metal classic love it rebirth reverence master of the dead probably my favorite song is the everlong night which just has these really kind of complex tumultuous riffs which is just absolutely terrific close as close as this band gets to probably progressive metal there are some real progressive uh elements and arrangements on this album which is really cool uh what else we got here at the shores of silver sand and my home my grave finishes it all off track number 10. you know also kind of think of um maybe not quite as bombastic but flesh god apocalypse from italy not that different from that either but i think uh you know for you know for 2020 so many of the melodic death metal bands who have been around for a while either have kind of moved into more commercial waters or, you know, you've got like a million bands doing this style. So it's kind of good to hear a longtime veteran of the scene still really doing what they do best and staying, tr you know, true to their core of what they're all about. So uh, I, I think this is a really strong album. Again, album number seven, titled seven, Moore's Principium Est. 
quite good. If you haven't listened to one of Finland's best, I definitely uh, urge you to check this out on AFM Records. It's uh, it's quite strong, quite enjoyable, and uh, gets even better with repeated listens. So check it out. And visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, of course. We're here on YouTube all the damn time. Coming up, we've got uh, we're going to stay on AFM Records. We've got uh, the new release from Leaves Eyes also coming up. Uh, hopefully tomorrow, I'll get you guys a review of the new Arion double disc set that's coming up, and uh, you know all sorts of other stuff happening. We got tonight. We've got um, a couple of Monsters Den episodes for you coming up later tonight, so check those out as well. Uh, Rich Catino's coming on for one, Chris Salo on for the other. So uh, stay tuned for all sorts of fun stuff. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.